What do you think of when you think of Guy V. Lewis? Every time I, I just reflect back, I think about that great smile. He was such a charmer. But when he stepped on the basketball court, it was like Jekyll and Hyde. He totally changed. He was a great coach, highly intense. He took boys and made men out of them. I owe him so much simply because I was fortunate enough to, to last in the NBA 38 years, and I have, I have to honestly say a lot of it had to do because of him. Go back to 1968 and that game of the century. What do you remember about what Coach said going into that game and what his advice was? You're playing UCLA and it's Lou Alcindor, and they didn't lose games back in that, at that time. Well, going into a game like, game like that, you know, everybody is very tense and tight. Uh, because everyone knew about UCLA and their record and, and how great they were. And here's a little team, Houston, who's finally reached a point where, you know, they, they got a nice team that, that could compete with a team like that. But Guy Lewis kept his team together. He kept our confidence high. He prepared us 100%. And we weren't that tense. And, and I have to credit him for that because a lot of times with a game that big, you're nervous, or you're a little bit scared. Uh, we went into that game very confident, and I think a lot of it has to do because of him. What did you learn from him as a coach? Uh, you went on to, you know, coaching the NBA, and you were taken from a lot of different guys, I would assume, but I assume you got a lot from Coach Lewis. I, I learned a lot from him, and I told him this once before, especially on the defensive end. I came into the University of Houston as an offense player. I left there as a defensive player, and I owe that to him. And I think by being a defensive player and uh, going into the NBA, I think that's one of the reasons why I lasted as long as I did because he gave me a very sound foundation defensively. And he in instilled in me uh, a lot of confidence, you know, in, in terms of uh, what it takes to win, what it takes to compete, and all about teamwork and, and, and team sacrifice. He was one of those coaches who, you know, he wanted to win and he prepared his player to a players to a point where they were ready to win. We were in shape, we were mentally prepared. And we were going into games knowing that we were prepared. And that, that, that's what it's all about from the coaching level, is to make sure that your players are prepared. He had a little bit of fire to him. I don't think of you as a guy like that as a, as a coach. Did you have to do things a little bit differently? Do you think about things differently than, than, than Coach Lewis? Were some of those stories in, in kind of maybe exaggerated, or was that no, how he no, was? No, no, that's how he was. I, uh, I remember telling my, my uh, brother, you know, how tough it was, and, you know, Coach Lewis was a charmer, as I mentioned earlier. He had a great smile, uh, always dressed unbelievably uh, uh, perfect, and uh, he carried himself very well. And he very impressed my mom and my coach <laughs> very well with his charm. But once he put that whistle on and, 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 and put his sneakers on on the basketball court, uh, you talk about a guy who really was intense. I mean, he, like, as I mentioned, he, he took the game very serious. He coached very serious. He was a very tough coach, and he changed. I mean, he was like, it was almost Jekyll and Hyde. I mean, he went from a nice guy to an aggressive, hard-working coach, and uh, we benefited from that. You guys both coached Akeem Olajuwon. Did, did you get any advice from him? Did you call him and say, <laughs> what do I do with this guy? Do you, have, do you have anything you can tell me? No, I was just, I was just happy to have a guy like Akeem who was so talented. Uh, and, and, you know, you can tell that he was molded earlier by Guy Lewis. Uh, and, I, I mean, Coach Lewis, I mean, he... He really, if you want to talk about a player coming in raw, Akeem came in fairly raw. He has natural given talent, but Coach really molded him into a very good player. And uh, when I got him, he was just ready to go. You talk about what he did to integrate the, the conference and, and, and the Houston Cougars. Talk a little bit to me about that and, and what he meant to you mm -hmm. as far as that goes. The impact itself, I didn't realize until later. Uh, as a young high school player, I just wanted to play basketball. Uh, I didn't realize the pressure that was on him in terms of integrating the program, you know, bringing in two black kids in an area where it was totally unheard of at the time. I know he got a lot of pressure from a lot of people and other coaches. So he sort of put his career on the line to a degree, but he knew it had to happen. He made that sacrifice, and I think we all benefited from it. You're listening to Houston Sports Talk.